All right. My name is Jason Levine, Principal Worldwide Evangelist for Adobe. So the goal of today's live stream is to take you through some of the more common workflows for editing music video inside of Premiere Pro, including what happens after you download uh, the zip archive that contains the footage from the uh, Believer video shoot. So we're gonna go ahead and start right there. I'll change my screen here. And let's start with the first sort of process here of just accessing and importing footage from the contest. So once you register to join the actual contest, you will, um, you'll download a zip file, you'll unzip the archive, you're gonna open up Premiere, and then you'll actually see you'll have a folder called Adobe Make the Cut. This is what you'll get once you unzip everything. Go ahead and twirl that down. You'll see you've got a footage of uh, a folder of audio, a folder of footage, and then we have a project folder which contains the Premiere Pro project file. So go ahead and launch that, open that up. It'll locate all of your footage very nicely, and this is probably the view you're going to see. All right. Now, one of the great things that we've done and that they've done is that uh, everything is sort of organized for you in a very quick way to get started. So you'll see up at the top here inside the project panel, we've got three folders already created, one for audio, which contains the master wave file of Believer. Then you've got footage folders, and these are broken down into different subfolders, including some Adobe stock content that we will allow you to use, some atmospheric backgrounds, and I'll maybe play some of these for you here if we just double click on some of these. If you've already seen the Believer's music video, you're gonna recognize a lot of this footage, right? Let's just kind of skip ahead here and show you some of these various elements. There's some really cool stuff in here. Yeah, some of these, you can imagine kind of using these with blending modes and uh, getting sort of very creative with color and again, blending multiple layers. And then you have multiple folders of the band interacting, again, from various scenes in the video. So you've got the lead singer, Dan, in the chair. Again, this is one of the clips that kind of opens up the video there. Then you've got all the boxing scenes with Dan and Dolph Lundgren. So anybody remembers Dolph, Dolph is so cool, looking so good too. A lot of this stuff is already time remapped. Ooh, wow, some pretty amazing. And this footage just looks incredible. I mean, honestly, to be able to have access to this stuff and cut your own music video, so, so cool. So we've got, again, a whole bunch of the boxing scenes here. And then we've got uh, individual footage of the band performing, again, as you saw it in the video. So you can see here, here's a shot of Dan singing. First things first. And it, we have multiple cuts of those vocal tracks. First things first. First things first. All right. And then you've got uh, all of the instruments, instrumentation here. So we've got the bass player. Again, various scenes from the video. We've got the drummer here. And there's a couple of uh, really cool drum cuts. All right, some of these, as well as some of those silly. All the hate that you've heard has turned your spirit to a dog. Okay, so we've got the bass player, the drummer, the guitar player. And you've got all of these clips broken down very easily. And you've even got. Some of the clips, if you've seen the video already with Dan as a young, as a young Dan <laughs> in the chair, which you can use as inserts and use however you like. Okay, so that's it. Very simple. You're going to register. You'll download the zip file. You'll unzip the content, open up the make the cut project file. Everything is organized into three main folders. And then of course you also have a sequence folder, which contains basically just a blank sequence for you already set up in the proper frame size, frame rate, and aspect ratio, and they've already inserted the master audio track for you, all right? So that's just a basic look at accessing and uh, working with the footage. You don't even have to import anything. It's already been done for you, so we've made it very, very easy to get right in and to get started.